fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. shot of mine hit him. He can't go much farther with a bullet in him. Never underestimate a dangerous adversary, my friend. Jeff Whalen is determined we shan't get that man. That may give him strength to overcome obstacles no ordinary man could. Yeah, but it won't give his horse strength. Look, there's the trail. The fool headed straight to the marshes. The marshes? Then we are likely to lose him. Come on. <laughs> Shots came from somewhere near here, Tonto. You're right, Kimasabi. But it takes us many minutes to get here. Whoever fired shots gone by now. Perhaps so, but whoever they were firing at may still be around here. You think maybe someone get killed? That's what we'd better find out. This brush is too thick for the horses. We can move faster on foot. You look up there, and I'll look around here. Uh. Did you hear that? Come from over there. It sounds like someone's been hurt. You get the canteen. Easy, fella. Mask. Mask. Well, I heard voices. I, I thought it might be friends. I am a friend. Hurry with that canteen, Tonto. Friend? The mask? Who are you kidding? This is sure my lucky day. I lose those other two owl hoots. Run into a new one. If you're a fair-minded man, you'll judge me by my actions, not my mask. Indian. You're a strange pair to be traveling around together. Maybe it's not so strange. Seems to me I've heard stories about a masked man and an Indian. Good stories. Something about a, a white horse and, and silver bullets like those in your belt. We have to get you to a doctor. That wound needs tending. Tonto, give me a hand. No, no, wait. But do you still distrust us? Well, uh, that's just it. I do trust you. Something more important for you to do than getting me to a doctor. Reach inside my pocket and pull out the map. It looks like a proposed route for a railroad right of way. That's right. I'm Jeff Whalen, surveyor for the Trans West Railroad. Trans West? Yes, I've heard of them. The company plans to extend their line right through this territory. Folks around here need it bad. I've been, I've been making a secret survey for the last three months to, to find the best possible route. But railroad mean progress. It's good for the West. Why did someone shoot you? Because certain stagecoach companies knew they'd lose business when the railroad comes through. They sent agents after me to find me and steal the map. Figured if, if they could buy up certain essential strips of land across the right of way in strategic areas, they, they could stop us cold. And they can if we, if we don't buy up that land first. That's why you must deliver the map for me. To whom? Ben Davis, Eastern Representative, Trans West Railways. Arriving Lincoln City tomorrow. I'm supposed to meet him. Widow Bentley's house. It's a secret rendezvous. Very important. Please deliver the map for me. Him and bad sheep, Kimasabi. What do we do? Our old friend Pete Benson has a ranch near here. Let's take him there. Pete will take the proper care of him. Come on, Tonto, help me. Now, 
Buddy Bentley, I thought I told you to stop these experiments that explode and make smoke. So wonder you haven't asphyxiated yourself. Yeah. Gee whiz, Ma, I combine naturally, don't I? Didn't Dad always want to be a scientist? And wasn't he always experimenting? Yes, and he might not be in his grave now if he'd spent less time testing explosives and more time tending to his job at the railroad. Now, that's not fair, Mom. It was Dad's explosives that cleared the track when those stagecoaches tried to wreck the train. And cost him his life. Oh, buddy, you're all I've got left now. That's why I don't want you to take chances, especially not down in this stuffy cellar. There isn't even a window for ventilation. That explosion you made last week just scared me half to death. Would you feel any better if I moved Dad's equipment out to the barn? There's plenty of ventilation out there. A lot better, dear. Sure, I understand, Mom. I'll start moving the stuff out to the barn right now. Oh, no, wait till uh, a little later, dear. I'm expecting Ben Davis any minute. He's due in on the morning stage from Kansas City. You want me to meet him at the stagecoach office? Oh, my goodness, no. He's coming here secretly. If you met him, it would give the whole thing away. I don't get it. Why has he got to be so secret? I'm not quite sure myself. He wrote that he was coming west on a very important mission and that he had to have a secret rendezvous where someone could deliver a very valuable document to him. He was sure that no one would dream of looking for him here since so few people knew what good friends he was with your father. That's kind of like a mystery, isn't it? That's fun. From the tone of his letter, it sounds as though it might be a dangerous mystery. Oh, dear, I hope there's no more trouble with the stagecoaches. I hope there is. Hadn't been for them, Dad may not be dead now. Oh, that's enough of that kind of talk now. Come on upstairs and get cleaned up. Go on. Stagecoach arrive on time? They pulled into Lincoln City right on the nose. What about the railroad agent? Could you spot him? Sure, easy. Could I have worked for the railroad for six years and not learn who their undercover men are? Well, don't take all the credit. If our contacts in the East hadn't warned us he was coming, we'd never have known where to look for him. Who is he? His name's Ben Davis. They've sent him on jobs like this before. Where is he meeting the surveyor? He headed for the widow Bentley's place. Her husband used to be a railroad man. Good, let's get there fast. What for? Davis is no good to us until Wayland delivers him that map. For all we know, Wayland may be lying dead someplace in the marshes near where we lost him. I tell you, he's not dead. Or we'd have found his body when we went back to look. Well, Jeff Wayland is plenty tough. Somehow, he'll find a way to deliver that map on schedule. But what he doesn't know is that he'll be delivering it to us instead of Davis. How do you figure to get Davis out of the way? He's no fool. Leave the thinking to me, will you? While you were gone, I drew up a little map of my own. I reckon it'll hold Davis' interest until I can get the drop on him. If it doesn't, well, that's where you come in. It was always his greatest dream, Ben. Before Mike died, he said that someday the railroad would go to every corner of the country. That was why I arranged to meet Whalen at your house, Clara. I know what the railroad meant to Mike. I thought you'd want to help us for his sake. Oh, of course I do. Hey, maybe that's Whalen now. I wouldn't be surprised. Let him in, will you, buddy? Good day. I'm looking for Mr. Davis, uh, Mr. Ben Davis. That's me. What did you want? The nature of my business is rather personal. Well, these are friends of mine. I have no secrets from them. Good. Then I can get right to the point. I have a map for you, Mr. Davis. Well, you're not Jeff Whalen. Well, obviously not. That's why I'm here. I found Mr. Whalen lying wounded in the field. He said he'd been shot by uh, stagecoaches, I believe he called them. And just before he died, he gave me that map to deliver to you. Said it was of the utmost importance that you receive it personally. Jeff dead? I'm, I'm very grateful to you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Colby. Colby. Ross Colby. Mr. Colby, this map is of vital importance. I feel that I should reward you. Oh, it isn't necessary at all, Mr. Davis. But it I... is. I don't understand. Well, why the gun? Because this map's a fake, Colby, and so are you. Whalen and I had an agreement that if for any reason he couldn't deliver this map personally, but had to entrust it to someone else, he'd put a special mark on it. That mark isn't on this map. Now, see here, I come to do you. Get his gun, buddy. Don't move, kid. You too, Davis. Now drop that gun or I give it to you in the back. I was warned you're a very smart man, Davis. That's why I took the precaution of bringing Mr. Manson for an emergency. Manson? Dick Manson? Didn't you work for our railroad? One of your more trusted employees. That's why I find him so valuable. Yes. Traders usually are before they sell out to a higher bidder. Why, are you mealy mouth? Enough of that, Dix. We have no time for personal conflict. Whalen is due to arrive at any minute. We've got to get these people out of sight. Look around the house, see if you can find a place to hide them. Son, you stay where you are. You won't get hurt. So Whalen isn't dead after all. Unfortunately, no. We did our best to eliminate him, but he eluded us temporarily. 
What makes you think he'll come here? He has no reason to believe that we know you're meeting him here. He'll never surrender that map to you. I'm afraid he has no choice. Two against one. Besides, he's wounded. If they have a cellar, that'll be perfect. No windows and only one door. Excellent. They'll be out of the way down there. We'll tie and gag them till we get what we come for. All right, all of you get moving. What do you want, Indian? You Ben Davis? I might be. Why? Me bring friend to see you. Well, where is he? This man wear mask. You not be suspicious of mask, not go for gun? Look, Indian, I have no friends who wear masks. I'll use my gun as I see fit. That's not wise. This man bring message from Jeff Whelan. Oh, oh, well, that's different. Uh, have him come in. There'll be no gunplay. I give the precautions, but I know you railroad agents are fast on the draw. I didn't want either of us to get hurt. Well, I'm glad you warned me, but why the mask? To hide my identity. Don't you ever find it necessary to hide yours? Oh, I see. You're sort of an undercover agent yourself. In a way. I specialize in exposing outlaws. Mister, we're going to get along fine. But uh, what about Jeff? Why didn't he come himself? He was ambushed and badly injured. Uh, I was afraid of that. I warned him those stagecoaches would stop at nothing to get that map from him. But he insisted on delivering it himself. How is he now? We left him with a friend. I think there's a good chance he'll recover. We would have waited to find out, but he was so insistent that we deliver the map to you on schedule. That's the kind of loyalty I like. The railroads can never be beaten with men like Jeff Whalen working for it. May I have the map now, please? First one thing, Mr. Davis. Oh, what's that? May we see your credentials? Jeff said to be sure we weren't handing the map to the wrong man. Oh, of course. I'd have been angry with him if you hadn't taken that precaution first. I think this should satisfy you. I'm no imposter. Looks highly official to me. Mm -hmm. Here's the map. Thank you. Well, you've done the railroads a great service, my friend. You've no idea how much I appreciate it. I see by your faces you're still not sure of me. Don't worry. As soon as you handed me this map, I looked for the secret mark Jeff said he'd put there if someone else delivered it. It's there, all right. Still suspicious? No, Mr. Davis. You've passed all tests with flying colors. Oh, by the way, where did you leave Jeff? I want to see him later to make sure he's recovering from those shots. What shots? Ah, oh, you said only a moment ago. I said he'd been ambushed and injured. I didn't say how. Why you think him shot? And with more than one bullet, you seem to know that, too. Well, I naturally assume when you tell a me a smart man... railroad agent like Ben Davis wouldn't assume anything. Where's Mrs. Bentley and her son, Buddy? I want to meet them. Why, why, they, they, they went into town. Strange. Whalen told me they'd be here with you. If you want to prove that you're really Ben Davis, you'd better get Mrs. Bentley and her son, Buddy, here immediately. I'll give the orders here, mister. Ever since you entered this room, my partner's been covering you from behind those drapes. Haven't you, Dix? I sure have, boss. Get the Indian's gun and knife. Turn around, mister. Or would you rather Dix put a bullet into your back? Now, I'll relieve you of these guns, if you don't mind. Well, very handsome weapons. Since you gentlemen won't be needing them any longer, you won't mind if Dix and I keep them, will you? Sort of as souvenir? Do the stagecoaches pay you to steal guns as well as maps? No, just maps. Anything else we take comes under the heading of loot. What happens now? We dispose of you, my friends. Then I deliver this map to our employers as quickly as possible. Now, through that door, if you don't mind. Where are you taking us? You expressed a wish to meet Mrs. Bentley and her son. You're not only going to meet them, but the real Ben Davis as well. We'll even untie their gags, and you can have a nice little chat with them before you all die. Come on. How long do you think you can get away with this, Colby? Sooner or later, Mrs. Bentley's friends will come looking for her. I fear that when they do, they'll find only some charred and smoking ruins. We set the house on fire, boss? <sighs> Since our friends here seem inclined to talk more than they should, I think it advisable to destroy all the evidence. And what better way than a nice accidental blaze? Yeah, but if the folks outside see the house burning, they're liable to come running. Get here sooner than we want them to. Dix, my boy, you're showing signs of intelligence. You're quite right. The fire might do just the opposite of what we want. Now we need something swifter. Less noticeable, but just as deadly. Mrs. Bentley, that wouldn't be blasting powder over there. Oh, of, of course not. It's just some of Buddy's chemicals. She's lying. Old man Bentley was always experimenting with new powders. 
He wanted to blast a trail right across the country for the railroad. I, I tell you, it's only colored powder. It wouldn't blow up a fly. Wouldn't it? Let's find out. Your husband's quite an inventor, Mrs. Bentley. There's enough blasting powder here to blow this house sky high. A nice long fuse so that you can watch death approaching. Colby, I know you'd do most anything for money. But surely you're not going to kill all these innocent people just for a piece of paper. I deal in cash, my friend, not in sentiment. Human life is a very cheap commodity. Give me a hand with this gunpowder, Dick. You should be grateful, my friends. Few human beings have the opportunity of studying death at such close range. With this fuse, you should have approximately five minutes to study it intensely. Meanwhile, Dix and I will be well on our way to Collinsville, and the five of you will be headed in another direction. Light the fuse, Dix. Adios, my friends. <laughs> Reach it, buddy? I can't. The table's too heavy. He certainly did a good job of tying us up. Don't be scared, Mom. It'll, it'll happen fast. I'm not scared, buddy, if, if you're not. Well, I am scared a little, but I'm more mad than scared. That's the spirit, buddy. We're not dead yet, and until we are, we'll keep trying to get free. We better get free in a hurry, then. Our time's running out with that fuse. Kimisabi, you see something on table, maybe help? There's a chance, Tonto. Buddy, can you tip that table enough so the things on it will slide toward me? It's pretty heavy, but I can try. There's a knife there. If I can get it with my feet, I can kick it over near Tonto. Not a good idea, Kimisabi. Maybe me slide down pole and get knife. Here goes. Good work, buddy. Ready, Tonto? I hope my aim is good. Be ready, Kimasabe. You aim plenty good, Kimasabe. Now, if time is only on our side. Hurry, that fuse is getting shorter every second. The fuse is getting awfully short. How's it going, Tonto? Oh, plenty thick, but not too sharp. Don't give up, Tonto. Like the masked man says, when there's light, there's hope. Let me drop my... The rope is almost severed. Try forcing your arms apart. Hallelujah! Three cheers for Tonto! Closest call I ever had. And now it's time for Colby and Manson to have a close call. They're well on their way now. You can't hope to catch up with them. If they're headed for Collinsville, like they said, they'll have to pass through Rock Canyon. I know a shortcut that'll get us there ahead of them. Fine, you lead the way and we'll follow. With no weapons? They kept all your guns. We haven't got any in the house. On the contrary, Mrs. Bentley, we have excellent weapons. Thanks to your son's knowledge of chemistry and explosives, we may be able to give Colby and Manson a surprise they'll never forget. Good job, mister. I'm sure this won't hurt them now, buddy. We want those outlaws alive and unharmed so we can turn them over to the authorities and find out the names of the men they're working for. Don't worry. This stuff isn't explosive like that blasting powder was. But it'll sure scare the daylight out of them. Good. All Tonto and I need is a chance to jump them before they can use their guns. We see two men come now, Kimisaka. I'd better get on the other side of the road. Uh, don't light your end till I give you the signal. Right. Get out of sight, Ben, quick. Come on down, Tonto. We better take our positions. All right, buddy.
They must have our guns in their saddlebags. Will you get them, Ben? Sure, mister. Boy, oh boy, my new potter sure turned the trick, didn't it? Keep up the good work, buddy. The West needs boys like you who want to build things instead of men like these who merely want to tear things down. Better come up now if you want to say goodbye to our friends. All right, Mom. Be right up. Oh, I certainly feel better now that those two horrid men have been turned over to the sheriff. And I certainly feel better now that I have this map and know that Jeff Whalen's all right. We'll start buying up property along this right away as soon as we can. And I'm sure folks will be glad to sell us what we need when they realize what the coming of the railroad will mean to them. If they don't, they'll be awfully short-sighted. I wish you could invent a powder, buddy, that would make people realize the importance of progress and mutual trust and cooperation. But I guess that's something that each man has to learn for himself. Tato, we'd better be going. Well, gee, can't you stay just a little while longer? I have a special reason for wanting you to. I'm sorry, buddy, but we're needed elsewhere. What special reason you have, boy? Well, I'm working on a new powder, and I want to name it after him. But I don't even know who he is. Maybe you call powder Lone Ranger powder. Be plenty good, then. Gee, Mom, we should have guessed it. He's the Lone Ranger. Thank you.